Now that I have my project set up within Cold Fusion Builder 2, and from this point on, I'm going to reference the interface or the IDE of Cold Fusion Builder 2 as CF Builder. Now that I have CF Builder set up the way I want, and I know my server is running, my project files are showing, and Cold Fusion is working within the interface, what I want to do is go out and customize a couple of things within the Cold Fusion Administrator. And one thing I really like about Cold Fusion Builder is it's really easy to do that using the servers area down below. Now that I have my Cold Fusion server set up within CF Builder, I can right click and notice I can launch the administrator right from here. I can add, restart, or stop the server, change any settings. If I wanted to use a different server, I could. And also, I have access to the server monitor. I'm going to go out to the Cold Fusion Administrator from right here. And this administrator opens, as you can see, right within the Cold Fusion Builder interface, just as if you're within a browser. Now, I had to set a password for the administrator when I installed Cold Fusion, and I always use the same one so I can remember. If you followed my instructions for doing this, it's a lowercase cf for Cold Fusion that I used. Otherwise, enter your Cold Fusion administrator password right here. I'll go ahead and click the login, and it moves me directly into the administrator itself. Now I'll hit Collapse All over here, and these are all the individual settings available within the administrator. And one of the first ones I want to modify are those passwords that I had to set when I installed Cold Fusion. And I'm going to do that within the security area. The first one will be for the administrator itself. The second one will be for the RDS feature. Both of those had to have passwords on the install. I'm going to go out and remove them. So within the administrator, you can see use a single password only. And I'm going to choose no authentication needed and click the submit changes. As long as you look for the green text up top, you don't really even need to bother reading it. If that did not work and the administrator was not able to make that change, this would be red. So just think of it as the red light or the green light. So I've just changed and removed a password from the administrator itself. That just makes working and developing your applications a little bit quicker. You certainly don't want to do that on a production machine. Now the other piece I want to do is do that exact same process in the RDS area. I enabled RDS, but I don't want to have a password. So I'll choose no authentication needed and click submit changes. This enable RDS service is a new setting within Cold Fusion 10. Prior to Cold Fusion 10, if you needed to modify or disable or enable, depending upon how it was originally set up, you had to go into an XML file and search for particular settings and comment or uncomment out some code. They've moved that out here to make it much easier to work with this. So my RDS needs no authentication. Now what is RDS? What that is, is Remote Development Service. It allows Cold Fusion Builder to pull information in directly from the database into the Cold Fusion Builder interface. That also is available for Eclipse or Dreamweaver any program that allows you to do that or use RDS within the IDE, you want to have it enabled. So we just set those changes. Let's take a look at a couple of other items that are new to Cold Fusion 10. One of the most exciting for most people is this server update piece. And this is brand new to Cold Fusion 10. 
You can now update and make your settings for updating the ColdVision server right within this area. So it shows you any installed updates that you have made, any available updates, and you can go out and check for those updates right from here. So it's much more convenient to keep ColdFusion up to date because this setting is directly within the ColdFusion administrator area. One other area I want to point out within the ColdFusion administrator that is new to ColdFusion 10 is within the security section. And there is an allowed IP addresses area. And what this does is allow you to set IP addresses that can invoke services. So this allows you to customize things with regards to services. It also allows you to specify specific IP addresses that can access this ColdFusion administrator area. So these are two nice features new to ColdFusion 10. But we have customized the administrator. It's all set. I can go ahead and close it right from here. And I'm right back within the ColdFusion Builder interface. So we just customized some settings within the ColdFusion administrator, removed the passwords for both the administrator and RDS, and also took a look at a few new features from ColdFusion 10 within the administrator itself.